Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another insightful episode of Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program from Kajang with Dutch. And from the promising rise of hydrogen as a clean energy source to the country's push for digital infrastructure and the increasing demand on the Thai Laos rail link. We've got plenty to cover today, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We start today with a powerful new development in Thailand's energy sector, which is the rise of hydrogen as a potential solution for clean energy. Our country is now making significant strides towards a greener future with its ongoing development of hydrogen energy. Thailand is now exploring green hydrogen, blue hydrogen, and hydrogen natural gas blending as part of its commitment to achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. Now, the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAD, is leading the charge with a pilot project at the Lam t a k o n g Learning Center, where renewable energy from wind turbines is stored as hydrogen gas and later converted into electricity using fuel cells. And this project highlights Thailand's efforts to really integrate renewable energy into its grid and improve energy security. In addition to green hydrogen, the country is also looking into blue hydrogen, produced from coal, with integrated carbon capture technology to reduce emissions. Hydrogen natural gas blending is another innovation that Thailand is pursuing to lower reliance on fossil fuels in power generation. And while challenges related to infrastructure and production costs remain, Thailand's investment in research and pilot projects is really positioning. Uh, the country as a leader in clean energy innovation, and as we look ahead, our country is pushing forward with plans to enhance its digital economy and infrastructure. During the Bit Cupped Summit 2024, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Digital Economy and Society Prasir j a n t a r a t r o n g t o n g outlined Thailand's commitment to upgrading its digital infrastructure as a driver of economic growth. The government is focusing on three key areas, including enhancing competitiveness through digital tools, strengthening laws and data security regulations, and developing a skilled digital workforce. The ministry is also um, implementing a cloud-first policy and e-government systems, uh, seeking to streamline public services and increase transparency. Moreover, Thailand is actively attracting foreign investment in digital infrastructure. Uh, with global tech giants showing interest in uh, setting up uh, data centers in the country, and these initiatives are really crucial for positioning Thailand as a regional digital hub and uh, strengthening its global competitiveness. And for our third and final headline today, Peruvian artist Lenin Tamayo recently brought his unique music genre, uh, which is Q-pop or Quechua pop, to Bangkok, blending traditional Andean sounds with modern pop. The event kicked off with a talk show at the Korean Cultural Center discussing the influence of K-pop on genre like K-pop and T-pop. Lenin, who is known for incorporating Quechua lyrics into catchy pop rhythms, performs at SCBX Next Tech in Siam, Paragon, entertaining audiences with his fusion of cultural heritage and contemporary music. Now recognized by Rolling Stone as a visionary artist. Tamayo's Bangkok performance was part of his global efforts to really celebrate cultural diversity through music. And that wraps up today's edition of Thailand Outlook. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of our show tomorrow. I'm Kajang with Dot Tips. Sweaty crap.